Now for numbers 11 through 20. Name the first four prime numbers. Well, prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. So what do we have? Well, remember two is the first prime number. Remember, even though it's even, and it's the only even prime number, it's still the first prime. And then the next prime is three, five, and then seven. What is a prime factorization of 180? So this is taking 180 and splitting it into its factors all the way down to its prime factors. So usually you'll see the factor tree used here, so that's what I'm gonna use. So what can go into 180? Well, three can, so that would be three and 60. 60 we can split into six and 10. Six becomes three and two, and 10 becomes five and two. So what are my ultimately prime factors? I've got two and a two and a three and a three and a five. So I write my prime factorization as two times two times three times three times five. What are three multiples of 20? Well, it could be any, you know, 20 is your base number, but it can be any multiplier of 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. So as long as you put some kind of multiplier, positive or negative of 20, it should be fine. What is remainder when 26 is divided by seven? So here's something you learned way back in elementary school. So let's see, seven goes into 26. We'll do this the uh, longer way. Well, how many times does 7 go into 26? Well, it goes in equally three times, right? So this becomes 21 over here. We subtract. 5 comes out. And notice 7 can't go into 5, so our remainder is going to be this 5 left over. So the answer to 14 is 5. Mario, Mario gets three extra lives for every 42 coins he obtains. How many coins must he gather if he wants uh, seven extra lives? It should be he. Um, well, let's see, this is a Greek proportion question. So it's three lives for every 42 coins. So we'll do three lives for every 42 coins. And then remember top and bottom have gotta be in the same. So we want to get seven lives. Uh, and we wanna know how many coins uh, he wants. So that's X. And now we just cross multiply. We get three X equals seven times 42, which is gonna be, let's see, um, hold on one second. Okay, I just have to pull out the calculator. Uh, three, seven times 42 is 294. Divide that by three, and we get 98, which is our answer. I'm sorry, two, I don't know if it was 242. So X is 98. Let me actually check that again. Three times, oops, seven times 42, uh, 294. Yep, so the answer to this one is 98. Robert drives 30 miles per hour for two hours, 50 miles per hour for half an hour, and five miles per hour for seven hours. How many miles did he drive during the trip? So this is a rates question. And the main formula to remember for rates is uh, velocity times time equals distance, or you can also do um, distance equals velocity over time, or sorry, uh, velocity equals distance over time, which, is this, is this one rearranged anyway, but we'll use this because we want to find the total distance. So in the first leg, he did 30 miles per hour times two hours, which would be 60 miles. The next he did 50 miles per hour times a half an hour, so we'll do that 0.5. So this becomes 25 miles. And then finally five miles per hour for seven hours, which becomes 35 miles. So now we add 60 plus 25 and 35, we get a total of 120 miles. Convert into fractions, decimals, and percents. Well, this as a fraction um, is six over 25. If we're doing it by hand, we wanna make this denominator 100. So this becomes, if we convert it into over 100, 24 over 100th, which is 24 hundredths, which is your decimal. And then just change to your percent, you just move this over two spaces, and this becomes, whoops, 24%, 24%. Uh, 0.25, we can make that 25% pretty easily. And this is going to be 0.25, that's the same thing as 25 over 100 or one quarter. Well, we got 22%, so that's gonna be 0.22, right? When we convert that back to a decimal. Now, this is 22 hundredths, so we can place that there. And if we wanted to simplify this down, this would become 11 fiftieths. What is 30% of 200? So here we want to use our um, methods to change words into an equation. So we have what, so here's our x, is equals 30%, we'll make that a decimal, of multiply 200. So here's our quick and dirty equation. We do 0.3 times 200, and we're gonna get x is 60. How about 19? 16 is what percent of 80? So let's do this again. 16 is 
what percent, so we're looking for a percent here, of 80 times 80. So we're going to do this, we're going to get n is 16 over 80, which is 1 fifth, which is 0.2, and we turn that back to a decimal, or sorry, from a decimal to a percent, we get 20% as our answer. Last one, 32 is 20% of a number, what is that number? So again, 32 is equals 20% 0.2 of times a number n. What is that number? Well, n is just going to be rearranging 32 divided by 0.2, which is 160, which is the answer to the question.